Oh my gosh. We got one. Always in the lily pads. Welcome back to another awesome video guys today we're gonna be going out and we're gonna be catching a peacock bass the big one that we saw in that other spot from one of my recent videos we saw a giant peacock bass and we were actually feeding him we were catching bait in our fish trap and we were feeding that peacock bass he, he had a big six seven pounds and i knew we had to go back and catch him to bring to our pool pond we need some color in here i mean check it out we got some beasts in here we got bane the giant bass we got wayne the giant oscar we got some giant Placos. There's a little bruiser over there. Andy's under the fountain. So we got some giant bass in here. We're gonna feed them, show you guys. They are massive, they're super aggressive. One thing we're lacking is a big peacock bass. A lot of you guys want me to get a big peacock, so today is hopefully the day. Check this out. Ow, Jesus Christ, dude. He got me good. Peacocks are so much more aggressive than regular bass too, so imagine a giant peacock in here. Oh my God. <laughs> He's on your head, Brandy. There you go, big boy. It's gonna be scary feeding these fish once there's a big peacock in here. He's gonna go, oh, ow. Dude, he swallows my whole hand. Like, just take the tilapia. Look at that. Oh, there's a little bruiser. Look at the little bruiser over there. There you go, buddy. I'll feed you. Oh my gosh, look at that. We also have some big updates, some big news on the big cichlid pond. We're gonna show you guys that later. Oh, there's the shovel nose. Here, I'm gonna feed him. Oh, he's smelling it. Got it. He got it. That shovel nose is getting big soon. When he gets really big, he's also gonna be going in the pond. See so yeah, guys, oh, also we have to show you Bruiser's Pond. We got Bruiser Pond up and running again. We got everything going. I got the fountain looking all pretty again. Um, right now, all we have in there is like a little goldfish just, you know, cycling it right now. But yeah, guys, I need your help. I need you to go down there. Comment what you wanna see in here. I'm thinking either baby predator fish, like, you know, baby peacocks, baby Oscars, or I plant it all up, I get some plants, plant the whole bottom, get top water plants, all this, just like a freaking underwater jungle, and just have colorful aquarium fish that I catch in the wild, small little guys like mollies, the tetras, all that. I think that'd be really sick, so comment what you think. Also guys, I forgot to mention the peacock bass. We've had bad luck with them in the past, and that's because they're very fragile with colder waters. And every time I'd get a peacock bass, a giant cold front would come through. I had no idea, you know, it would go from like 100 degrees to 60 degrees and they would die. We're in the middle of summer now. It shouldn't be getting cold. We should be good to go to get ourselves a peacock. All right, guys, we're here at the spot. Now, if you watch my DIY uh, traffic cone trap, this is where we caught all those fish. We caught the little baby. They're actually called silver dollars. You guys let me know. I thought they were Paku, but they're called silver dollars. Super sick. We're gonna cast it, try to get some bait, and then we're gonna go over. <laughs> Should we move away from the do not remove? Nah, that's fine. So yeah, guys, we're gonna cast that bait and then we're gonna go to where we saw those giant peacocks, see if we can get lucky today and catch them. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, it's a bluegill. Are you kidding me? We can't keep the bluegill. It's illegal. Pretty little bluegill though. It's actually really pretty. Look at the purple on him. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Oh. I died in my eye. Oh, I need water. What's an idiot? Wait, what is that? It's a baby it. bass? It's a little baby bass. Oh my god, did you see? Oh my god, that was a pancake, dude. <gasps> a baby peacock, look at that! See, that's what we're trying to catch today, but like a much bigger size. Oh my gosh. I really want a baby peacock for like a tank or a pond. <gasps> Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that, again. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> that thing's huge. <laughs> Look! Look! See, that fish is literally <laughs> beeline straight to you. All right, guys, after literally like 30, 45 minutes of trying to catch just one bait, we finally got some little baby tilapias in there. Check them out, we got like seven of them. We're gonna use these over here to catch those big peacocks. Hopefully they're still there. We're at the spot, check it out. This is where we saw those giant peacocks the other day. Now, I don't see them right now. That could have been one right there that just popped up. I'm just gonna toss a bait out and uh, see if we can get them over here. Oh, 
We're on. We got one. We got one. Oh, he's in the lily pads. Oh, Jesus. Get out. There he is. Yes, sir. That's a nice one. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We did it. Oh, so pretty. Ah. Ah, oh, they're so hard to hold. Okay, okay. We got to. You got to relax, dude. You're coming home. All right. Hooks out. Let's run it back to the cooler real quick. I'm gonna grab him like this. Look at that peacock, dude. Yes, we freaking got one. Let's go. Look at the belly, dude. That's so cool. I've never seen a peacock like that with all the red along its belly. All right, there he goes. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna get an aerator on him. Dude, it's like such a pretty peacock. There he goes, he's got air. Look at him. I don't know if it's a female or male. I didn't get a good look at him. I'll be able to tell in a little bit, but that is such a pretty peacock. Look at the orange fins, dude. The red, so cool. Now, guys, the way I caught that peacock was pretty interesting. So we've been here like an hour. Haven't seen one peacock. I was down, I was upset. I got snagged on a tree out there and I, I was like yanking it like this, wanna come out, so I go in the water. I'm done, I'm walking in the water, unhook it, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try the BFP special. I reel it all the way up to my tip. I just start swooshing around in the water. Two giant peacocks come up and they grab it. It was, I mean, you can't make that up. We're gonna go over there real quick. There was a bigger one. We're gonna see if we can catch him real quick. If not, we're gonna use this guy. So this is a little reenactment, ready? This is how it happened. I'm in the water and I go like this. So guys, that wasn't Gigantor. That wasn't the huge peacock that we saw, you know, the other day. We're gonna come back though. I mean. It's not ideal conditions for peacock bass right now. Usually you gotta come out here when it's hot and sunny and it's, you know, really shady and real cloudy today. But we're gonna come back and see if we can get Gigantor. You know, the size, that's not what matters because we can get them big, you know? We can feed them, get them huge. But the coloration on the one we just caught is so pretty. We're gonna bring them back to the house, throw them in the pond. We're gonna see if it's a female or male. Hopefully she or he does good in the pond. It's gonna be sick. We'll see you guys back at my house. Oh my gosh, yo guys, show is not over. We got Gigantor right down there. Look at him. We came back to get a thumbnail. There he is. Dude, he's massive. Got him. Oh my God, he's snagged. He's freaking snagged. He's snagged, he swiped on it. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dude. I don't know how I'm gonna land this thing. Oh, he's in all the freaking weeds, bro. Come on. No! No! Dude! His wife came home. I had the bait right by his face. Jigged it. He swiped on it. Set the hook. I snagged him in the back of the bait. No! Look, I got one of the scales. I did snag him. Oops. Okay, guys. We're here at my house now. What we're going to do, we're going to put him in a net. Check him out. He's doing good. I can't. I still don't know if it's a female or a male. I think it's a female. I don't even know. There we go. I'm gonna net him out, and then we're gonna run to the pond and toss him in. Run? Oh yeah, we're gonna super rain. That's a female, I think. Unless it's just a male with no hump. Ah! Oh! Ah! It's a giant peacock. There it is. Oh my god! That's a male. It's, I think it's a male with a little tiny hump. I don't even know. Look how pretty he wow. is. Wow. All right, buddy. Oh, I love his little red tan. There you go. Yeah, he's really pretty. There you go, buddy. There's your new home. No one's picking on him. We fed all the fish earlier, so no one should be hungry and try to eat them. Should be good. All right. Everyone's doing good. There's our new peacock, guys. You need to leave a comment and name our new peacock. He's got really pretty red fins. And yeah, he is he is pretty big. I say he's probably about the same size as Brandy over there. So he's not a small fish. We got Bane here. Bane loves being pet. Look, he's a good boy. That's a good boy. Wayne, what, look, Wayne wants some loving. That's a good boy. All right, so yeah, guys, comment a name for our new peacock bass. Also, we're, we might get another one. I want to get a big one. I was going to check this out. A little tiny update on the cichlid pond. Now, it's not, I, I wish it was sunny out, but as you could tell, it's really cloudy. Like, it's been all day. But as you can tell, you can see the fish much easier even in the shade like this with the clouds. Um, and that is because we cut a big hole in the trees so that sun can go through. Now I'll throw up some little clips I got yesterday from when we did it. 
and the pond looks so sweet. You can see all the fish so good. The whole pond is just lit up, super bright. All the colors pop and there's no glare, no shade. It is so sick. A lot of you guys wish that you could see into the pond better. And you know, it was super hard back here because it's all shady, lots of glare, lots of shade, but we fixed it. And now you can see the fish super, super well. So yeah, guys, hopefully this peacock does well. I'm sure it will because you know, it's not supposed to get cold for a while for a very long time, but there he is right there. That'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please go down there, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.